So now y'all come into my kitchen. This is cooking today. Hi, welcome to cooking today. It's practically summertime. My goodness sakes, can you even believe that it's, I just, do you ever feel like your life just is flying? Especially when you have kids. I just feel like all those little milestones and things are just going so, so fast, don't you? And it is just another, it's another summer. And of course, it's not the sweltering summer that we are used to in Arkansas. Not quite yet. It's good grilling weather. And when it starts to be just nice and warm outside, it just gives us the itch to grill. We actually have um, both a gas grill, which Sam actually got me for Mother's Day last year, um, my, own, my own grill um, that I could handle because he's a um, big green egg man. You all know about that, right? And I am intimidated by it, and so I, I don't really use it or whatever. It makes me nervous. But I am really getting good at the grill, y'all. I'm so proud of it, and I really love to get out there and make these particular salads because they're such a piece of cake. So for your early summer grilling, we are making fajita taco salad um, like fajita taco salads with grilled fajita meat that is just so good, like good beefy steak fajita taco salads. Doesn't that sound so delicious? Um, a lot of times taco salads have chicken, which is absolutely fine. And then it also sometimes has ground beef, which is absolutely a piece of cake. And you could actually even substitute either chicken or ground beef in this recipe, but we're going to use steak and make these delicious um, fajita taco salads using steak. So what we need to do first before we do anything, because it takes the longest amount of time, is get a marinade on our steaks. Now I'm using a sirloin tip steak um, because it's what we had at the grocery store and so that's what I'm using today. You can absolutely use a flank steak if you would like. Those are really, really easy and they're not very expensive. Sirloins are really, really good too, like, like or a, not a sirloin, a strip steak. A strip steak is really good um, as well. It costs a little bit more money, but they ultimately all do the same thing, especially once they've been marinated in this delicious marinade. So we're gonna do that right now. And it's got a lot of good fresh ingredients. You're just gonna love. There's a lot of stuff that we're putting into this, but it's worth every single little bit of measuring and chopping because it is the most beautiful salad. So, for our marinade, for our steaks, I have grated three cloves of garlic, and then, this is so easy, the whole recipe is going to be on our website. We have soy sauce and Worcestershire, both, a little bit of tang, um, just that good steaky bite, you know, that you get from a Worcestershire that I love. Um, and then the soy sauce is super savory, very, very, very salty. So we're not putting salt in our marinade, which a lot of times you do put salt in your marinade because it helps tenderize the meat as it sits. But we have put so much Worcestershire and soy in there that you don't need to. I've added some brown sugar, which in, in the end actually helps to caramelize your steaks on the grill and gives it a little sweetness. And then I added in some lime juice for a little kind of a tart, bright flavor. Okay, so there's our, those are our liquids, a little oil, always a little oil in my marinade. And then, so those are our liquids and some brown sugar. And then we're going to add to it some black pepper, not salt, remember, because we have such savory liquids in, in our marinade. And then just some really classic kind of taco flavorings, cumin. Do you say cumin or do you say cumin? I'm so curious. I think everybody says a little bit of everything, don't you think? But we know what we're talking about, don't we? So we have cumin. Chili powder is going in here. Okay. Mmm, smells so good. There's so much going on. There's that tart, the citrus, the savory, the sweet. Now we've got our taco seasonings going in, our flavorings. And then, red pepper flakes. Now, 
this is kind of up to you on how hot that you really want this to be. One time, the first time I actually made this marinade up, I really overdid it on the red pepper flakes because my theory was, well, that's a taco salad and we want it to kind of be, you know, spicy and really good and all that. Overdid it. So just a little bit of pinch, half teaspoon, quarter teaspoon, whatever you think. Mm, 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 mm. You should smell that. Then, as always, when we marinate meat, I have my steaks in here. Now I'll tell you, we're using these thin cut sirloin tip steaks. Um, they cook in no time on the grill, which is part of the reason that I like to get them. If you were to use a flank steak or a skirt steak, perhaps, you would want to take the sharp tip of your knife and kind of do some little cuts, like some little gashes down inside the steak so that the marinade gets down inside the meat um, when it's marinating. But these are so thin, y'all, you don't even need it. All I'm gonna do, pour them in my gallon bag and put them in the refrigerator for four hours or even overnight. And then when we come back, we're gonna get going on our avocado crema for our salad. This is cooking today. Welcome back to Cooking Today. If you're just joining us, we're making fajita steak, taco salads. They're so good, y'all. Oh my goodness. You can absolutely take this recipe and you can use ground beef or chicken or, gosh, you could almost even use good blackened shrimp. Golly, that would be delicious now that I think about it. We are doing delicious marinated thin steak on the grill that I cannot wait to show you how it looks at the end. It is so good. But first, well, actually, I'm gonna back up the bus. We made our marinade, okay? And then we have poured it in here in this bag. You kind of massage it in just to be sure that it's nice and coated. Now, ultimately, you would want this to go for at least four hours because you want that meat to just be flavored and so good. You could even do it probably up to eight hours or so. Um, sometimes, I think I even suggested at the beginning you could do it overnight, but sometimes when you do like a real fresh citrus juice, like we did a lot of lime in this, it starts to kind of break down the kind of the good texture of the meat. So I really probably wouldn't do it overnight. Um, unless of course you were doing it like for lunch or something the next day you could stick it in, but usually eight hours might be the longest, but so there's our meat and we're just letting that go. Now, what that meat is gonna go on is our salad. And I've got a head, an entire head of romaine that I just cut the end off of and then quartered it and then chopped it. So we've got some good bite-sized pieces. Don't you hate it when you get a salad at a restaurant or somewhere and you just pick up a big old bite of it and you can't even, you just can't even eat it because it's just a mess. And so work on your bites so that it's a good chopped salad. So we've got some really good ones right there. Great size. Now, I'll tell you, what we're about to make is an avocado crema. And it is a, we've made it before. It's one of my favorite sauces to put with any kind of Mexican food. Um, it is a cream-based sauce that has um, sour cream and mayonnaise and lime and avocado and some seasonings in it. And generally you would kind of eat it like as a dollop on top of like a taco of some kind or beside a piece of meat. But we're gonna add enough lime and liquid to it to make it like a real thick dressing. And we're gonna toss our lettuce in this avocado crema. Here's why. The because is because there's nothing worse than dry lettuce. Isn't that such I mean, it's such a drag when you're eating a salad and the lettuce is dry. We want to season and flavor every step. We don't want dry lettuce with all the good stuff on top. We want the lettuce to have the flavor as well. So we're going to actually toss the whole base of our salad in this avocado cream, limey, thick kind of creamy dressing. And then that becomes our base. Then we put all of our good stuff on top of it. So every bite, tastes good. And that's a really important step, even when you're making other salads or even if you're putting lettuce like on top of a burger or a sandwich, if you'll just dress it a little, a little olive, like oil, maybe a little vinegar, salt and pepper, 
just so that that bite has some flavor. Season your tomatoes before you put them on. That's just a really great tip all together. So I have one eight ounce container of sour cream that I've already put in my bowl. And then I have a really, really good ripe avocado that I just put right on my board and mashed it right there. Makes it easier than putting it in your bowl and trying to chase it around. We've all done that, haven't we? And we're like, this isn't quite working out like I thought it was gonna work out. Okay, so we have our sour cream and our mashed avocado. Then I have the juice of two limes. We like this really limey. Um, I've made it with one lime and then we all agreed that we thought we might like it with the juice of two instead. Plus we're trying to get that liquidy consistency. We want it to be able to really toss on our salad and not just glop on top. So we need a little bit of this extra liquid. Super delicious. Then let's see, okay, we have some hot sauce. We're gonna do a couple of dashes of hot sauce. Several, we really love that. Then we have our cumin again because we're gonna kind of bring that flavor on over into our dressing. Gosh, it's so good, y'all. I, I did a whole teaspoon of it. And then we want to give this a pretty good little salt. And you're gonna wanna taste this um, when you're finished mixing it up. And you're gonna wanna add more hot sauce or more salt or more lime or whatever else it is that you think that you might wanna put in it that you like, okay? So there's that. And then finally, we have some fresh cilantro. And you can do, again, as much or as little as you would like on this. We like quite a bit, like a couple of tablespoons or so. And I like to spend a little bit of extra time going over it with my knife so that the bites are really small and it's really, really, really incorporated in. And then all we do is mix this in. Mix in our cilantro, give it a little taste, make sure that it's something that we really like. And then we just need to let it chill, hang out a little bit. You could actually even make this earlier in advance, just kind of knock this step out. That's all we're gonna do. Put in our cilantro, stir it up, and give it a taste. When we come back, we're gonna start on all of our good toppings and get our salads built. This is Cooking Today. Welcome back to Cooking Today. We are making fajita steak taco salads with the most delicious marinated beef. And we've got some great stuff going on. And I was making our avocado crema dressing that's going on our salad, like the base part of our lettuce. And just to finish it out, we're adding a little bit of mayonnaise. I forgot to put it in. <laughs> and the boys in the room said, you forgot the mayonnaise. And I said, you're right, I did forget the mayonnaise. So we cannot forget the mayonnaise. What kind of Southerner am I anyway? I just lost my Southern card. And we've added in all that good lime and all that good flavoring. And what we're gonna do is mix that in and give it a little taste. Now remember I said, we need to be able to toss it, toss it, toss it in our salad so that our salad is nice and coated. Okay. I want it to have more salt, so I'm gonna do a little bit more salt. Mm. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit more hot sauce. It's just so good. I think I want a little more. Now, because we wanna be able to stir it until we can thin it out so that it will toss on our salad, just have a little bit of reserved milk over here. Then I'm just gonna add about a tablespoon at a time just to get the right consistency. And I think that did it, just a tablespoon or so. Mm -mm -mm. Ready? Oh yes, the hot sauce, it just needed it so bad. Great, 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 great. Taste as you go, it's your recipe. So we're gonna set this aside for just a minute. Next to our big bowl. Oh, you're gonna need your big bowl because I have made this a couple times. And there's a lot that goes on it and you toss a lot and you really need to have quite a bit of room to, you know, toss with some sides so that you don't make a big mess. Nobody loves a mess. All right, 
So I have a small cast iron skillet preheated hot on my stove, little swirl of oil, and then all I did was take one medium onion. You could do two. It kind of depends on how, how much you like. If I'm just making this for a couple of people, then I'm probably just going to do one onion. And um, you can definitely do two, and you could even do three. It's a really good bite. Um, especially if you're just kind of winging it and you don't have the corn or something and you need a little more filler, you can always throw in a little bit of that extra onion. So I am putting my onions in, and then I'm going to give those a stir over the hot oil, and then you just want to get a really good, nice color on them. And just let them go, kind of caramelize down. And then I'm just going to separate my rings. And then I like to throw a little bit of salt on them, just for some extra flavor. And I'm really just going to kind of turn those down and let them go. My skillet got really nice and hot. Okay. And I'm just going to check those from time to time. Now, Let's see what else we've got. Okay, we have all of our good toppings that we're gonna have on our salad. And we are gonna get to those in just a second. Let's see what all we've got. What we have for our topping that's gonna go on top of our salad, and you can do whatever you like. This is what we like. I have some shredded Monterey Jack cheese. A good medium cheddar, mild cheddar would be good. Pepper Jack would even be really good on top of this if you like it. I have some cold frozen fresh corn that we've just kind of allowed to cool and thaw. It's got that great crisp sweet bite that is just so good. And then we, I like to use um, these chili beans that actually have like that mild or medium sauce on them. It's just a can of them. And I just drain that littlest bit right off the top and then just get ready to spoon some on there and kind of dollop them around. You can use black beans which I actually really, really like, but Sam is not crazy about black beans. So we've kind of moved toward look, like doing a chili bean or a pinto bean. And just the seasoning on those is just one more great flavor in your salad. Then we have these delicious little red tomatoes. These are called Glories. They're one of my favorites. And all I would do with these is just have them. And you wouldn't even have to have them if you didn't want to. And then avocados, slice them, mash them, make some avocado, um, I mean some guacamole, whatever you would like to do with that is just fine. I am going to stir my onions. Oh yes, they're getting great color, I'm so excited. And then I'm gonna turn those down and just let them keep caramelizing. And then we're gonna throw our steaks on the grill. These are so thin, they're just gonna cook in a couple of minutes. And then when we come back, we're putting this beautiful, big salad all together. This is cooking today. so glad that you are here today. You're going to be so glad if you decide to make this recipe, y'all. It's so good. We are just wrapping up fajita steak taco salads. We tossed all of that chopped romaine lettuce nice and crisp with that creamy, zesty, delicious avocado crema dressing and then piled it right in the middle of a plate. And then I've grilled this gorgeous, thin steak. And it is so Good. The flavors of all of that marinade and then, of course, that delicious kiss of a grill, y'all. There is nothing like grilled steak, is there? This is so nice and thin and tender. And, y'all, all we do is pile up a pretty plate. We have our caramelized onions. Look at our pretty steak. I'm going right down the middle. Look at this. Right down the middle. Make a little row. And then just fill it in. Look, we've got our tomatoes that we halved and salted and peppered a little bit. And then we've got corn that I love to add like little, little surprises of it here and there, pockets of it, just for the prettiest plate because it's got such good color. Pretty here, pretty there. 
And then we've got beans. I love to put a little pile of beans on the side. So I like to kind of, instead of piling it all in and tossing it all around, to create a really pretty plate where you can kind of pick and choose your bites and what you want to eat next, or you are welcome to just stir it all in if you'd rather. Top it with our avocado, a little cilantro, and our caramelized onions, and then some cheese. Y'all, you've got the best Mexican light, fresh, summertime Mexican salad. I hope you will try this at home. I know that you're gonna love every bite. This is cooking today.